What's up guys, it's Alex here, your friendly reef dog. Now last week I gave you a two year update on the Red Sea Reefer Peninsula 500, but this week I have got news of a big upgrade for you. In fact, it's so big I'm doing a full unveiling. Now before I do that, I want you guys to guess what you think it might be, and then you can tell if you're right at the end. So put a comment in the section below, and let's see if you're right. Now if it's your first time here and you want weekly reefing goodness, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on anything. Right, you ready? Let's have a look. It's a background. Now the question I get asked more than any other is why I don't have a background on my tank. And the single biggest criticism I get is that the tank would look much better if it had a background. So have I finally caved to public opinion then? Well, no. You see, this isn't a permanent background at all. It's actually a sheet of polycarbonate covered in sticky back plastic. On one side it's blue and on the other side it's black. Now there are several reasons I've done this. Firstly, I actually do like the look of a background despite my setup. So I wanted to see what this tank would look like with a background. And I've always thought the corals might pop a little more on video and in photos if I shot them against the black screen. I also thought it would be a great opportunity to make a video that shows the difference between a black background and a blue background, with those being the most popular colour choices. So I'll do a video on that separately. And finally, given I get asked so often, I wanted to be able to answer the question with a visual demonstration. So having done it, what do I think? Well, I hate it. For a start, it's awful for reflections, so it actually makes video look worse, not better. If I spend time getting the angle perfect and blocking all ambient light in the room, it's not too bad, although it does look a little unnatural. But if I get the angle wrong, or for quick shots, all you can see is me and the camera. Now, I could probably do a better job if I painted the back of the tank with tile paint, or applied the sticky back plastic directly to the tank, and over time the reflections would go as coralline algae grows. But the background also makes the tank look much darker, and that's one thing I love about having two panes of glass to see through, it just looks so bright and vibrant. I don't know how well that comes across on video, but it certainly comes across well in the flesh, and it looks noticeably better than tanks I've had before with black backgrounds. So apart from the blue versus black comparison, this is the last time you'll be seeing a background on my tank. So let me know what you think in the comment section below, and if you enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for next week.